Okay, so what's my dream tonight? Well, oh, this is interesting, really. I was trying to solve a problem, okay? And then it turned out that I remembered some words which I spoke. And interestingly, the words which I spoke is actually that of a video which I recorded earlier. I did not realize it immediately, but only after I've spoken a while on that, those same exact words that I spoke in the video, that I began to realize that it was the video that I recorded earlier. And I couldn't remember exactly when was that earlier moment. The words came and I was uttering those words from the video in my dream. And it's part of the solution to a problem. Okay, so I continue to speak those words from the video, I mean, I did not memorize it, of course. And it, it came naturally from my mouth. After a while, after I speak it out, I realize that it was from my awake state. I mean, it was, I was recording this and then suddenly I woke up. Now, how should I interpret this? Well, what is important to note is that what had happened in the awake state, the exact video which I recorded earlier, I was speaking in a dream. Now, this point is interesting. There were two levels of consciousness, but the dream consciousness managed to pick up the details from the awake state of consciousness. Well, the second thing I noticed was that while in the dream, I thought that there was something about these words that I spoke. It seemed like as though I was speaking something that I have kind of recorded. It was only after some time of noticing while in the dream that I began to realize that it's the same video that I have recorded it while in the awake state. In other words, a dream event is leading me to another state of consciousness, an awake consciousness. There are two different space-time worlds here. And what interests me is the four that one space-time world reach out to the other space-time world and they get noticed somehow. It may seem nothing to you, but to me, the implication is great. And the reason is because I am presently living in my dream world. So therefore, I need to communicate with the other world, the awake world. And how do we go from this dream world to awake world? That is the question that has always been in my mind. The second very important thing that is in my mind is that the awake world or the bigger world is always communicating with us in our dream world. We are not alone here. There is a higher self that is communicating with this lower self. And how do we get to the higher self? And how does the higher self come to us? That is what interests me a lot. And not everyone notice the communication. We may live our life all throughout our life. But we don't notice somehow that these words that we speak eventually came from the awake state. For most of us, we go through life requiring a lot of proof and intellectual arguments to know about the other world that is behind us. But there are a few who sense within their soul the higher self and they will tell you what it's all about but you won't believe them. This is what spirituality is all about. Perhaps I cannot 
teach you how to enhance your antennas, so to speak, your communication link with your higher self. Perhaps I don't know how. But I am assuring you that we have this antenna and we can hear the words from a higher self coming through us. And we may be speaking the same very words coming through us and we don't really know. But it's important that we know. And why is that so? Because the higher self that is commanding us when we can hear the command of the higher self, we become the command itself. We discover our beginning. Your higher self is your God. And whatever he commands, you become. Only when you can hear the command. And if you hear the command from your God, you understand your beginning and therefore understands the end, and therefore you become one.